Hello everyone, welcome back to my diecast collector channel and in this video I'm excited to show you this uh, Mercedes Maybach uh, S650 uh, Cabriolet by the Noraf uh, so this is the not a dealer edition, this is the Noraf edition uh, on its own so uh, I paid for about um, £116 from a UK seller uh, on eBay um, so I think Noraf uh, models are around about £80 to £120. That is a uh, reasonable price, I would say. Anything more than that, then you may want to think a little bit twice and you might want to do a bit more research about the model before you buy into it. Anyway, let's get started. Um, obviously, the roof is uh, detachable. It has no mechanical whatsoever. You just uh, hook it in. It has little uh, plastic windows at the back and you just easily attach it in the back and that's very easy to do and it's really really nice what I really like about this is the um, you, it's completely flash here and that's the most important thing and it has no windows for some reason and that's the only negative thing in this model as far as I can see um, generally I think I don't have any complaint in this model so far I'm really happy with this model all the plastics are nice to touch as well and they don't feel like a cheap plastic and they feel reasonably nice uh, I think this is a fairly heavy model as well uh, let's yeah let's weigh this out while I have my uh, scales on so I think it's about 1.1 1 .1, uh, kilo let's see whether I'm right uh, close yeah so it's yeah so it's about one kilo is definitely for sure um, yeah, so let's see a bit more detail on the front. Well, the engine details is absolutely shocking, uh, as you can imagine. There's a little button underneath there, you need to press it to get the uh, bonus to lift up, and then you use your nail. Unfortunately, I can't pick it up now. Oh, there you go. Uh, engine is as usual from Nora, is shockingly bad, and you can see there is no deepness in here at all. It's all shallow, and it's just all one giant piece and that's the way it is in Noraf the engine details in Noraf is never that good but thankfully they have a lot of things to make up for and uh, you can see the uh, the grills is amazingly good I'm really impressed with this grill <laughs> uh, I don't know why I always love shiny pieces especially in my bike and Mercedes you know and they have to come with uh, all the chrome pieces around because that is the only way to make the car feel a bit more posh and expensive so these grills are really nice, right? They are not cheap one like an Audi. Audi grill silver that they put in there is very cheap and nasty. But in this one, it's really good quality. I can feel it's like a nice solid feel. Uh, these are all chrome as well. Of course, these man, these plastic are not mesh, I don't think. And uh, they are not see-through. But I'm not really bothered too much about it. There's not much to see inside anyway. As long as these are nice quality on the uh, chrome. And so is the wheel. Wheels are also chrome, which is really nice. And some Mercedes my back, you need to be careful when you buy them. They are on the pictures you can't tell, but when you get them, they are just uh, silver painted. They are not chrome. Okay, so you need to be careful. Only almost real do the chrome uh, rim. So and yeah, Noraf also do this, but this is the only Noraf model I have ever seen um, that do the chrome. Uh, ring okay and no other models from Nora has chrome and this one does so thanks for that uh, <laughs> thank you Nora um, yeah so and the headlights are also not bad they're nicely done I can see little dotted LED light effects on the daytime uh, which is also cool and uh, multi beam from the Mercedes and now they're having the uh, digital uh, beam of course but you know uh, this is a current model but this is a little bit old now so anyway the wheels are as I said chrome um, but the problem is it's kind of difficult to see whether uh, the brake disc and caliper what it looks like but uh, I'm happy with this chrome ring anyways so I can't actually I'm not gonna bother with the brake disc and caliper um, yeah there's a my bad logo this is not um, uh, painted it's actually a little piece that actually stick to it so feel premium and um, yeah, of course, that they all have opening part. Uh, interior is amazingly nice, and they're all carpeted. And um, yeah, every plastic material is nice to touch. Maybe not as nice as the uh, LCD Land Rover that I have, 
but then again the price is double the price so you know I'm happy with it what it is for now interior is uh, all the dials and everything is really nice you can see center console all the buttons are clearly labeled there and uh, all the little buttons on the steering wheels this also there uh, which is really cool and on top of all that and I, I like this little Mercedes uh, my back shiny chrome pieces in here as well on the door seal and all the little button in here this is also nice but um, the speakers details are not nice as almost real and uh, this is just painted but uh, to be honest this uh, speakers details are much better than leaving uh, on the passive shelf with the uh, just a little circle around it without any painting on it which is even worse man my mercedes s-class and also the uh, bmw 8 series and they all have the same thing and you know which is kind of lazy and you know hideous and in this one they are painted which is uh better than nothing i would say okay um yeah so you got little seat belt as well which is nice there are little seat belt there um so so far i am very happy with this model i'm not complaining at all whatsoever i don't see anything to complain anyway all the door gaps are nicely done and there's no big gap or anything and of course it has a walking suspension as well okay you can't see much from it but see uh, walking suspension also cool uh, they are nicely kick um, not like my Audi A8 the front suspension is jerky but in this one no problem uh, rear is also very nice you can see the uh, all the exhausts are in chrome and this is all lovely the light details are again is very amazing uh, very detailed I like that um, also on top of that you have uh, some luggage that come with it which is kind of weird I have never seen in a motor cars that come with uh, so many luggages but the weird thing is I cannot take them out <laughs> they can't stuck with it and I don't understand what is the point you know you can't actually take it out to play and you just show hey yeah I can fit the luggage in but I can't actually take it out to play so I don't see the point here you know, like my Bugatti has a little luggage in there as well, but they can take it out there individual pieces. But this one seems to be stuck and molded together. Maybe they are movable, but so far I've been trying to move it. It seems to be all solid and doesn't actually move at all, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, apart from that, I'm not really going to fuss anything about it. I mean, I'm very happy with this model already. I appreciate that they already painted a speaker grill. I was, you know, looking for just a normal circle around like a uh, previous Mercedes that I have, uh, which I was worried about. And also underneath, of course, you got lovely exhaust detail and suspension here, which is nice. So, uh, yes, I'm very happy with this model. And it's nice, decent weight as well. And it's a convertible. I was thinking I'm gonna get another my back uh, from almost real because just because I want to get this uh, chrome rim and the uh, chrome uh, grill just for that <laughs> really and then I found this models on the eBay and thought wow okay I didn't know Norov also do the convertible and I already have two limousines so I don't want to get another almost real again so I decided to go with this one and I'm not regretting it at all. I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.